This video is dealing with the distance formula, uh, the distance between two points. And the good news about this is this is in your log tables. It's not something that you have to learn off, but you do need to know how to apply it and work through it. Um, and there's lots of little elements to this. So we'll work through a number of examples so you get a real feel for how to use this formula and substitute values in. So watch out for this notation here. These two long lines here on either side of A and B always denote distance or length. OK, so they may not ask for distance or length or use those two words in the question. They may just use that notation there. So watch out for that. So if you have two points A and B, then the distance between the two, those two points is given by this formula. All right, so let's jump straight into an example to see exactly how we apply this. So here's the example. If A is the point 1, 5 and B is the point 2, 3, find the distance between those two points or find the length of the line AB. OK, so the first thing we're going to do, like with all our coordinate geometry formula, is we are going to label our points. So here are our two points. I'm going to label this x1 because it's our first x coordinate point and this y1, it's the first y coordinate point. Remember your first number always represents the x, in other words how much it goes along the x-axis, the horizontal, and the second number always represents the y, the vertical line or the vertical axis. Um, so in other words how far it goes up or down. So again this is the x, this is the y, um, and if that's x1, y1, this is the second point, so x2 and y2. All right, that's the first thing you'll always do with all of these coordinate geometry formula. Label your points x1, y1, x2, y2. So then you want to get down the formula for yourself. Always write it out in full first from the log tables before you start filling it in and make sure that you write it down accurately. So my formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 all to be squared plus y2 minus y1 all to be squared. Okay, so it looks quite complicated, but we're just going to deal with it bit by bit by bit. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is keep that square root. We're going to deal with that only at the very, very end. All right, so just write it in and we'll just work our way through what's in underneath it. Okay, so next is a bracket in our formula. So put in your bracket and then we come to x2 in the formula. So this is where we sub in and remember with your rules for algebra, whatever you're subbing in, keep brackets around it. So x2 in this case is 2. Sub in 2. Then what's next in the formula? Minus, put down the minus. Then x1, x1 in this case is one, bracket. And then we have the little power of two. So don't forget that and put it up there. Again, we'll deal with all of that uh, in a moment. We're just subbing in for our very first step. Then next in our formula is plus. So follow the formula exactly. Then next in the formula is bracket. Then next in the formula is y2. So y2 in this case is three, sub it in, keep brackets around it. Then next in the formula is minus. Then next in the formula is y1. y1 in this case is five. Then next in the formula is brackets. Then next in the formula is squared, okay? Just be really careful, bit by bit by bit, follow the formula exactly. All right, and the beauty about that is once you have that written in, just everything subbed in accurately, you've got the majority of the marks. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of evaluation. And again, it can be a little bit tedious. Pupils can make mistakes from here on in because they're not being careful. So um, watch, I'm going to show you little tricks just to be very mindful and careful of what you're doing here, okay? So if you find number work and negative number work in particular a little bit tricky, then by all means, use the calculator to make sure that you're accurate, okay? So what I would suggest you do, um, if you want a little bit of help from the calculator, is just input the highlighted bit on the calculator first, okay? And leave the square root, and again, just do this on the calculator. Type it in exactly as you see it, bracket, bracket two, bracket minus, bracket one, bracket, bracket and squared, okay? Uh, if you're doing it uh, in your head, take your time, do brackets first, obviously. Two minus one is one, and then one squared 
which is the same as one times itself, is one. So that's what you should be getting on your calculator, okay? Then do your plus, and then we shall do this on the calculator, okay? Uh, so again, type it in exactly as you see it, bracket, bracket three, bracket minus, bracket five, bracket, bracket squared. Uh, if you want to just double check your number work in your brain, uh, by all means do that, accuracy is very important. Uh, if you're doing it in your head, three minus five is minus two, and then minus two squared, be careful here, minus two all to be squared is minus two by minus two, which is a plus four. So that's what you should be getting, and do check it, as I said, on the calculator. So now we have the square root of 1 plus 4, which is the square root of 5. Um, you can square root 5 to get a whole number. If you did square root 5 on the calculator, you'll get a decimal. Uh, often in quarter geometry of the line, you can leave it in what's called third form. So that means with the root. So we can leave it exactly like this. Um, if they ask for it to a decimal place, then you can evaluate on the calculator to decimal place. For the benefit of what we're going to do today here in the lesson, you can leave it in root form, okay? So in third form. So square root 5 uh, is the answer. Uh, units, of course, because we are dealing with length. So let's try a question. So we have C is 2 minus 4, D is 3, 1, and I want you to find the length of CD, or the distance between C and D. Okay, pause the video here, see how you get on, and play if you need to help a uh, little nudge in the right direction or just to check to see if you got right at the end. So first thing you should do the minute you realise we're dealing with distance is to get down the formula and make sure you're writing it down accurately from your logs tables. So here we go. That's the formula I want to follow. And then the next thing I'm going to do, as always with my quarter geometry formula, is label my points. So that's my x1, y1, and that's x2, y2. All right, so now let's fill it in. So keep the square root, bracket, x2, in this case, is 3. So bin 3. Minus, put down minus x1 in this case is 2, so bin 2, and then brackets squared. Following the formula, plus bracket y2 is next, and y2 in this case is 1, whatever you sub in, keep brackets, and minus, and y1 in this case is negative 4. So again, this is why the brackets in substitution is so important. Don't forget your squared, finishing off the formula. And again, you've got the majority of the marks here. So subbing it in accurately is hugely important for the majority of the marks. So again, the brackets will just help. If there's any little issues, we often make slips with signs in particular. Uh, but this will just enable you to make sure that what you're inputting in on the calculator is going to give you the correct, accurate answer. So, again, by all means, uh, do it in your head, but we'll double check it on the calculator as well. It's a good little exam technique. So the first thing you're going to sub into the calculator, exactly as you see it here, is that bit. 3 take away 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Double check it. Then plus, don't forget, follow that formula exactly, and then sub in this bit on the calculator. And we have 1 minus minus 4. So when you sub that in the calculator, keep all those brackets, and then the calculator is getting told exactly what you want it to do. Follow it exactly. But 1 minus minus 4, when you subtract a negative, it's like adding. So 1 minus minus 4 is actually the same as 1 plus 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 squared. 5 times 5, in other words, is 25. So we end up with 1 plus 25, and now add them together. Square root of 26 is my answer. Don't forget its length, so units. Next question. If E is 3 minus 2 and F is minus 5, 3, find the distance between EF, or find the length of EF. Okay, pause the video, see how you get on with this. So, first thing I'm going to do is make sure I take down my formula. 
Next thing I'm going to do is label my points x1, y1, x2, y2. Now let's follow the formula. Bracket x2 is minus 5. Sub it in, keep brackets around it. Next in the formula is minus. Next in the formula is x1. Sub it in, keep brackets. Bracket squared. Next in the formula is plus. Next is bracket, y2 is 3, keep brackets, minus y1 in this case is negative 2, keep that in brackets, close the bracket and squared. Okay, so let's double check this work on the calculator here, just doing that bit first. Minus 5, minus 3, negative 5 take away 3 is minus 8. And minus 8 squared, in other words, minus 8 by minus 8 is plus 64. Then plus, next what you check on the calculator. 3 minus minus 2. So remember I said taking away a negative is like adding. So 3 minus minus 2 is the same as 3 plus 2, which is 5. 5 squared is 25. Type it into the calculator exactly as you see it with the brackets and the squared and double check you're getting uh, 25. Okay, and then adding 64 and 25 together, we are getting square root of 89. All right, let's try another one. Okay, last question to try yourselves. Pause the video and see how you get on with this one. First thing you do, square root, write down your formula, x2 minus x1 all to be squared plus y2 minus y1 all to be squared. Then very important, let's label our points x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, now let's sub in, keep that square root. Bracket x2 is 1, sub it in with brackets, minus x1 is minus 6, sub it in with brackets, close the bracket and squared, plus bracket y2 is minus 3 brackets minus y1 is minus 1 keep brackets around it close the brackets squared okay now let's check this on the calculator keep your square root type that in exactly as you see it 1 minus minus 6 is like 1 add 6 1 add 6 is 7, 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49, plus, write that in, don't forget, now type this into the calculator exactly as you see it, minus 3, minus, minus 1, lots of minuses here, so this is why double checking on the calculator is very important, minus 3, minus, minus 1, minus, minus 1 is the same as add 1, so minus 3 on the number line, add 1, where are you, you're at minus 2, Minus 2 squared is the same as minus 2 times by itself. So minus 2 by minus 2 is plus 4. Okay, and so 49 plus 4, don't forget the square root, of course, is root 53. And that is units.